Hey fam, hope all is well. I kind of wanted to run some thoughts by you because all of you are brilliant. So, Matt Walsh from the Daily Wire uh, had a very interesting tweet and video about these nurses and several hospitals going around and doing TikTok videos of them dancing and, you know, horsing around. And I agree that some people are saying, okay, it's just to lighten the mood. Not every hospital is busy. Uh, it's good to lighten up the mood, especially when uh, nurses uh, in Italy and Spain are crying a lot and suffering a lot, right? So they want to lighten the mood. But I do get when people who are stuck inside, because suicides have gone up, uh, lots of drug addicts have relapsed on drugs, uh, the isolation, the social distancing, and watching their bank accounts dwindle, and checks have not f arrived to everyone, and it's only a one-time payment of $1,200. Uh, and uh, the unemployment offices, you know, their computers keep crashing, people have to stand in line unsafely to fill out this paperwork, right? So people are on edge, basically. People are on edge, and many people are getting upset that uh, these nurses who have patients to take care of uh, are goofing around and making a joke and not and they're on the clock and they're horsing around for views to get views I, I, I see both sides of it however there's even a third side that's saying this is very confusing when you have the mainstream media keep telling you that the end of the world is coming we're all gonna die and then you have nurses on TikTok uh, making funny videos and then you have other nurses who are getting caught being fake where they're crying saying they don't have supplies and then they do and then you have other people who are wearing you know garbage bags i think it was in new york where they had to have a uh garbage bags to protect them because they didn't have uh good equipment and then andrew cromo uh, of new york uh got caught i guess caught is the right word or at least suffered to explain why he had so many stockpiled masks that he wasn't using. Um, I watch his uh, his updates every morning because uh, I think he might be uh, somebody who might come in the race uh, against Joe Biden because uh, it seems that a lot of people are starting to flock towards him. So, And he's, a, he's Italian, so, you know, he's pretty uh, cultural, you know. He's, he's not perfect. But he might stand a chance. So people have been paying attention to him more. So the weird thing is, is that I I think my personally myself, I don't like seeing the videos of the nurses dancing. Like they'll have like a rap song. There was one where they put, uh, they were twerking and uh, they got like padded butts and they're like shaking their big butts. And you're like, I get it. You know, people are dying, but at the same time. I wonder how the people who've had family members die feel about nurses goofing off. And other people pointed out, well, some of the videos are recorded in maternity wards where they might not have as many people, right? And they're not busy and, you know, at least they're not coming out of New York hospitals or in, in California hospitals. But then other people point out not all the nurses are leaking where they're working from, right? It, and... Other people have also pointed out that TikTok is actually a spy tool of the Chinese Communist government, right? And that we people we should stop using that app because they're actually collecting data and that, you know, people are starting to really revolt against China now. Uh, you know, Japan has started to pull out some of their manufacturing and I hope that America does the same and we totally break off... Uh, our manufacturing from there we stop outsourcing and we bring back manufacturing to create jobs especially now when over seven million people have filed for unemployment and many small businesses are closing we're going to need jobs and if we're still going to have open borders we can't have you know a 20 percent domestic unemployment rate and then keep importing uh agricultural workers who might not have an opportunity right and then having visa uh students come in who will take jobs that uh, domestic students need especially now they need to pay off their student debts but at least trump uh 
you don't have to pay your student loan debt, I think for six months, interest free or something like that. So that helps. But my whole point is, is that people are, are getting on edge, They're getting on cabin fever, right? We're in week four and in Virginia, they want it extended till June and people are in LA and other places, they're lining up. I mean, the, the lines are getting pretty long. And what's even more disturbing is that we're seeing videos of uh, Wisconsin milk dairy producers dumping milk. We're seeing hatcheries uh, smash their eggs instead of donate it. It's, it's really troubling. And certain meat processing plants, protein plants, are getting shut down because they're fear of workers spreading it to each other. So the supply chain is maintained in other parts and is getting weaker in other parts. And yet, in other places, people are getting tickets for surfing, People are getting pulled forcibly. In Philadelphia, there was a viral video of someone getting pulled off the train very violently by officers who didn't even have masks on. And there was no law saying you had to wear a mask. So people are starting to freak out at the authoritarian control grab, right? So it's interesting how we have all these different emotions, right? We have people goofing off, people still partying. We have people who are literally freaking out, like, what are we going to get Gun sales have gone up, understandably, and I support that. Um, I, sub I think gun shops are necessary because a vast number amount of Americans are on, you know, psychological medication. They've suffered from trauma. We don't really have a tight-knit culture here in every state. It's kind of doggy dog And the police have, in certain states have said they won't respond to certain calls and... I think it's Prop 47 in San Francisco, if I get the number right, where, you know, open drug use is allowed. And if there's some type of robbery, like you go into a Walgreens, you take a bunch of stuff, the police are not going to show up to grab you. So people have started to loot a little bit. So social order is kind of brinking, right? Where we have police overstepping, freaking out, sheriffs walking around giving tickets, even while they are not wearing masks. And people want to get out of their homes. They want to get back to work. And then we have, you know, ineffectual politicians who are not utilizing the treasury. We're very rich, but we're not giving it back to the people. Because the bailouts are mostly for the corporations. And I understand corporations employ people. But understand that a certain percentage of that is not going to go towards everyone. So, for example, also, the airlines have gotten bailouts, but they still did firings. Even though part of their bailout... Uh, lightly not enforced was that you can't fire people. This is the bailout is so that you don't fire your employees, right? But they're doing it anyways. They're taking the money and they're they're going. And for example, the movie theaters, uh, AMC is thinking about going bankrupt. They can't pay their bills, so all their employees, uh, the few that they had, will you know suffer. And the malls that that's one of their last remaining attractions is the movie theater. I mean, now that will suffer as well. So they'll get less foot traffic. So it's the 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 ricochet effect, the the ripple effect, how, whichever you want to classify it as, is really starting to build up. And, you know, everyone's reacting in a different way. So I, I do think it's inappropriate in this climate for nurses to be dancing around. And we need to start fact-checking more of these nurses and we need to have less political coverage on how is Trump doing on the virus. I think we need to focus on China. I think we should focus on China lying, hiding their data. They're, they, you know, they used to have a one child policy. I mean, they're horrifically brutal to their people, right? And they are our competitor, right? And, and in, indeed they are our soft ally. I mean, but still, we have to worry about them. They're more of a technocracy. They have their, their social credit score. I mean, they're so overly populated. Maybe they want to kill off some of their citizens. Who knows? You know, it's a dark rabbit hole. The Chinese people are awesome. It's the government who, you know, their, their values, which you have to worry about. And hey, hey, I have no room to talk, right? I live in the United States. We have our big issues as well. But I don't live in China. I live here. And... Because China's faultiness, um, no matter which theory you take, China lied. And um, yes, our own government should have been more prepared. They had some warning. 
I mean, Bush did warn about, you know, how unprepared we were for a pandemic. Obama didn't replace certain, you know, FEMA equipment. I understand that there's a lot of finger pointing, but I think it's getting exacerbated more when people are irritated on edge and then we see, you know, certain people not taking it serious. I think that's going to really start to cause some problems, you know. And they've been releasing certain nonviolent, nonviolent offenders out back in the streets early. So people who've done car thefts, you know, financial crimes, they're still criminals. And I think you have to work hard. You pay your debt to society. You get forgiven. Okay. But they've been letting them out and then saying they're not going to show up for certain arrests. And then you're going to ticket people for leaving their homes. It's like, wait a minute. What's going on? And not all the homeless are taken care of. And a lot of the uh, migrant workers are still standing outside in the street looking for work, not wearing masks, not social distancing. So we're like, wait a minute. The homeless are out and the migrant workers are out. But us, you know, and the criminals are being let out. But us, you know, just, I guess you could say, you could classify it by industry. Maybe restaurant industry workers, you got hotel workers, you got retail workers. They are forced to stay inside and suffer. While others just kind of get to not get a ticket and then other people get targeted by a ticket. It's it's just so sporadic that people don't really know what to do, right? And then I noticed this bridge going up between like Christians are getting mad at Muslims because the and like the governments are threatening Bill de Blasio, for example, of New York, NYC, sorry. He was saying that he would forcefully, you know, turn off, you know, access to synagogues and churches. And then people were complaining, well, why aren't the Muslims being targeted? Why are you afraid to say, tell Muslims they can't go to the mosque? And it seems a little strange how people are using this crisis to attack other religions that's not the enemy. You know what I mean? We, we shouldn't fight amongst each other. We should instead hold our politicians accountable. Fact check the medical industry to see like what's going on with you guys. Are you okay? Are you not? And we also have to keep check on the World Health Organization. They are smart. The CDC, they are smart. But China has a heavy influence in the WHO, right? And we have to be careful as a culture. That's all I'm saying. And I'm starting to see these tweets where China... Chinese people, blue checks, are blaming America for the virus and then saying that we are the ones who spread it. But in fact, it came from Wuhan. You know, it's... Even if you think it was created a bioweapon, still, the genesis of it is there. Whether you think it got manufactured or it's a bat or whatever, still, there's China has to, you know, answer for their crimes. For their lack of response. And then they open the wet market again. They need to shut down their exotic wet markets. I love eating exotic meat. But it's unsanitary their production of it. Right? And the dog eating needs to stop. We have to... You know... There's certain viruses that have come out of China. Of a history of China. And it's like okay at a certain point we gotta like... Come on man. It's 2020. We gotta... You got all this technology. You're telling me you can't create a more sanitary environment for your wet markets come on you gotta do it and how many millions of people can't work because of it you know what i'm saying it's strange but i want to know what all of you think about everything i've said because i just see people really snapping and domestic violence has gone up i mean child abuse has gone up i mean it's just and then other places it's super calm it's really weird right now really weird and I just wonder what how all how all are you doing you know I know I miss the gym I really miss the gym and I and I'm, I'm I saw a funny tweet that said uh I miss being at work complaining that I wasn't at work and that's kind of how I feel too it's like I'm at that point where I want to get back to work but I'm afraid of the health insurance bill right and the school some schools are canceled for the whole year so how are parents going to, you know, afford the child care? Because some people organize their ch their schedules to where 
they are at work and their kid is in school. And then when the kid's out of school, they get off work. And now people have to figure out how they're going to pay for daycare centers. And then you have to worry about the daycare centers. A lot of them are not sanitary, really. I've seen many of them. They look pretty, but they don't clean as much. And it's not as clean as you think. And then you have to worry about how many kids are going to be packed into those places. And some of them are very expensive. And the cleaner they are, the more expensive they are. And you don't really get a huge tax return. So we have a child care problem. And how are we going to reopen the economy when people can't go to school, when many parents are already on the brink and they have to have their kids in school to at least have time to work. So this is so many issues going on here. But that's why I think these videos of people just horsing around in a hospital is not really helping. And I think people should stop doing those videos in the hospitals, period. What do you think, family? Let me know. The sun's going down. So that's why it's starting to get darker because I haven't turned on the lamp yet. But let me know what you think because I care about what you think. And I want to know if you've noticed these trends as well, wherever you are at. Okay, fam?